Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. I'm Joy Nightingale. And today, we have landed right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're in the downtown part of Vegas, right off Fremont Street at a spot called Neonopolis. Because today, we are going to bring you along to look at Neon. No, 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 it's still bright out. We can't look at Neon now. No, you see, here in Neonopolis, they actually have a movie prop store. And we love cinema, we love movies. So when we have a chance to see film news stuff from movies, mm -hmm. we have to check it out. We have to bring you along with us. If you like this kind of thing, you should like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel down below, comments, all that stuff. So appreciated, much love. It's time to do it though. Step right up, let's go for this ride. <laughs> Tucked away in this corner of Neonopolis, in between a sports memorabilia store and a neon wedding chapel. Oh, how I love Vegas. We have it now open. Take a piece of Hollywood home. They have over 400 movie props, all screen used, and a fun <laughs> selfie station. <laughs> selfie station. You knew I had to. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Wow. Right off the bat, starting off with some Big time movies, Armageddon, Bear Hero Suit. Chronicles of Riddick. Um, Chronicles of Riddick. But it says that between the sets that Vin Diesel passed the time by playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> and here we have, we have Vin Diesel's outfit from the Chronicles of Riddick. Even the goggles. That made him be able to see. He had those cool glowy eyes. Tron Legacy, the Jarvis costume top. What I love about movies is when you see them on screen, the costumes look so amazing, but then you see them in person, and you're like, I can make that. And you're like, yeah, because someone made it, as long as it looks good on the film. And that's not the only Tron Legacy outfit we have. We also have Tron Legacy Blackguard costume. The costume and keeps going and going. Sticking to a uh, Chronicle Riddick's, that was a follow-up to Pitch Black. Here we have the Hunter Gratzer model from Pitch Black. You all at home, are you Team Alien or Team Predator? I was always Team Alien. 1997, Alien Resurrection. We have the young Ripley clone in the pod. And from Alien vs. Predator in 2004, the xenomorph eggs, I was not expecting all this stuff. Like, look at this. The Alien Queen from Aliens, 1986. This isn't the screen used one, but this one is made from the original molds. Not good. the Alien, but this pot itself is from Chris Pratt's movie, Passengers. This would have been the deep sleep hibernation type chamber. The Alien and the pack of cigarettes, it doesn't say Marlboro, they say Morley. Those were both seen in the TV show, The X-Files. Does this make you happy? I haven't seen them yet, but I know you're a fan. We have the great white shark from Sharknado. <laughs> Sharknado 3. So we see the shark here, and then we actually have, we actually have a photo of the shark flying through the air. We have made our way, I guess, from the NASA to more, well, NASA is sci-fi, but we definitely have some big sci-fi props here. Ready Player One helmets. This is for me. The police helmet from Total Recall. I love me an Arnold movie. And this one had a woman with three bosoms. This piece can be seen in the film's chase sequence and is constructed of plastic and resin. That's not the only other stuff. We actually have some other stuff from Fifth Element. We have a medic helmet, a police blaster, and a police helmet. I can't believe it. From the original series of Star Trek, we actually have a set of screen news trebles. See, that to me is more impressive than Spider-Man's left boot. It's cool that they have it, but trebles. Not Pim's Sparkle, the next thing we're about to come to. This gets me so excited. We have Sort of movie props from Fight Club. We actually have a bar of the soap that they were selling to rich people, made from the fat of rich people. If you haven't seen it, seen it. 
It's 1999. It's 24 years ago. But still, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't, because that movie is amazing. Watch Fight Club. Time for a little horror. Night of the Living Dead. This is the remake by Tom Savini in 1990, original zombie mask. What's cool is that it says that it was the film featured in all star cast, including Tony Todd, who later became famous for Candyman. How crazy. It is. Like the end scene hotel photo we have from The Shining. This is a production copy but we do have the original stunt axe from Dr. Sleep, the sequel to The Shining. When it comes to Hari, some could be more psychological, a little gory, and others could be great slasher. My favorite horror franchise is Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm seeing an original screen used. Freddy Krueger glove. We see the original Freddy glove from a Nightmare on Elm Street 4, 1988. This was made for the third movie but it was used in the fourth, the Dream Master. I like how they, the little displays they have here are fun too. Like it's on the boiler room door. Caution, do not enter, because we got some scary people. Imagine you were just homeless man head, and that's how you had to look when you acted. How about that one, Joy? You prefer Shaun of the Dead? Mm. The I Got Wood shirt? That was funny for me. I have a good idea. After this, we'll be safe. We should go to the Winchester. Okay. You want to know a secret? I'm Batman. No, I'm Batman. <laughs> We're up to Batman. Batman Returns, original Batman costume. Could you imagine Michael Keaton wore that? When he was hanging out with Michelle Pfeiffer as the Catwoman. This is one of the original Penguin puppets used in the film, Batman Returns. Batman Robin, Robin's mask from 1997. So Chris O'Donnell wore that mask. Harry Potter. It's crazy that how one museum in the back of this little area in Vegas has some amazing screen used props. They actually have from Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone, the Golden Snitch. An original Gryffindorf sweater, not my size. Mandrake. Mandrake root. You see the little face on the Mandrake root? You might like Harry Potter. You'd be like, that's it? I want more. Well, they got more. <laughs> we have a few of the robes from Harry Potter. And that's a cool thing. But I want thing two. Well, we only have thing one. Because <laughs> we have original thing one from the cat in the hat how the Grinch stole Christmas, and how Jim Carrey stole all of our hearts. From Santa Claus, two. Two big soldiers. And the tree is just good theming. And when we talk about theming, look, even the present is wrapped in a Christmas story wrapping paper. So those, the fiberglass tin soldier costumes, they weighed over 40 pounds. And according to the actors, they were so heavy that they could almost not even act in it. Yeah, that looks like a, a big prop. Ooh, an original Chucky doll. This is from Chucky 2021, the TV show. This is an animatronic doll made by the production and used in season one's final episode. It's creepy being so up close, seeing into the mouth of Chucky. He just wanted to be a good guy. Yep, I see what you're getting to, and I like what you're getting to. <laughs> I had to get my pictures on. <laughs> Me and Joy are a fan. Oh, ooh, one, two. Oh, the third one's not so bad. I can kind of get behind that one. It was a cute movie. Gremlins. That's we actually one. have a stop action puppet. Original puppet from Gremlins 2. And this was the second one, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which was pretty cool. Johnny Depp's version was good. It's not as good as Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, but I liked it. And then this was the third one, uh, Small Soft Dress. That was a pretty cool movie. It was a very cool movie. 
twenty dollars. Oh my god. That's a face only our mother could love. Command the lead leader, Chip Hazard's production made costume head. This was a paint test to see how it would look. There you can see what the paint looked like in the movie. Original Son of Anarchy vest and Jax's white Nikes that was seen on screen. But we're not even looking. I, I'm so distracted. I'm missing like sharks and arms and, and, and blue thunder miniature helicopters. Breaking Bad. They they be making making that money while making the uh, the blue crystal stuff. We have two hazmat suits and and screen used rock candy. That's that's what I'm gonna say. Pours from Jumanji. But this is this is where things blow my mind. From the movie Jaws, original fish finder. Richard Dreyfuss holding that in the movie, and here it is in front of us. We all love the Flintstones. It's the special effects, bowling pins and bowling ball. When he threw the ball and it split when it hit the pins. An original Michelangelo. Original full body prosthetic for the character of Michelangelo for the short lived Fox Kids television show, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation in 1997. You a fan? Original bat used by Harley Quinn Margot Robbie in Suicide Squad. Yeah. Were you expecting to see all this stuff when you came in here? Not at all. This is pretty cool. This is. Full body prosthetic for the character of the beast used in the production of the 2011 film X-Men First Class. This piece is made of foam latex with hand punched blue hair. Oh yeah, plus Thor's hammer from Thor The Dark World 2013. Yeah, just Thor's hammer's hanging out here. Right next to Captain America Civil War Iron Man helmet and from 2022 original production made helmet for the 2022 Disney Mandalorian. This piece was created for the first season and features a fully finished interior for close up shots. And what I love is you could take home a piece of the movies here at the movie prop experience. Look at this. You could buy Night of the Living Dead, cast autographed 8x10 glossy. Kick ass Hit Girls replica knives. Kick ass Hit Girls nunchucks. I like this. Back to the Future production. Ooh la la cover. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. There's the edible grass. But a lot of these are affordable, so if you wanted to get into collecting stuff from movie props. They have some cool stuff. You could take home screen used Harry Potter wands. Oh, this is so awesome. If I had $1,200, Jester movie prop head, puppet master vs. demonic toys. The actual Jester head. Good guy merch from the box. Original <laughs> bottles from True Blood, but I was looking at this. Ghostbusters production Ecto-1 decal. I love it. You actually can take home some props, like Night at the Museum Apollo statue. Toy Story signed by the cast. Deadpool's Cooler Girl. And Agent the Heel Hero Injection Device. I want Deadpool's Hula Girl. So there you have it. We came, we saw, we Except greatly we saw. enjoyed <laughs> the movie prop experience here in Vegas. Was awesome. It was great. We even got a magnet with the gremlin. Yeah. I would recommend it. Guy was very nice. He told us about the museum. We walked around. We looked at all the stuff. Everything is labeled very well, so you could read about everything. It was a cool experience here. I think we call it. I think so. Movie pro experience. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels and live life. I walk in, I almost miss from my favorite movie, The Crow. The Crow. <laughs>